Investigations into the death of 20-year-old Matthew Ian Boyd continue, with two men charged for murder and a trial date set to take place in November. But this day was about friends and family saying their last goodbyes to a young man who was evidently much loved and respected by everyone. At noon, as flags flew at half-mast, the coffin bearing Private Boyd set off from King's Chapel on its way to Casemet Square, where a funeral procession would set off down Main Street. Respects were paid as members of the essential services and then the Royal Gibraltar Regiment lined the streets, saluting as the hearse drove past. The funeral was attended by the governor, MPs, senior members of the regiment wearing black armbands and friends and family. In his citation, Commanding Officer Ivor Lopez said Private Boyd had performed consistently to a high standard throughout his career and had been earmarked to be trained as an assault pioneer. He was due to attempt the fire team commander's course, which would have seen him promoted to Lance Corporal. Boyd was a In his eulogy, command chaplain Reverend Michael Wagstaff, who conducted the ceremony, said Matthew Boyd lived life to the fullest. He said the lives of those around him would go on, impoverished by his absence, but enriched by having known him.